Hi guys, welcome to Shifting Gears and right now I am driving the Skoda Slavia with the 1 liter engine option. आपको Skoda Slavia के साथ दो engine options मिलते हैं, both are petrol. You get a 3 cylinder 1 liter engine and you get a 1.5 liter 4 cylinder motor. Both these petrol engines are turbocharged, लेकिन आपको इस sedan के साथ diesel engine option नहीं मिल रहा है. You only get petrol power. The variant that I am driving right now is the 1 liter TSI 6 speed automatic style trim. So if you are 1 liter variant, this is the most expensive variant that you can buy. Now first let's talk about numbers. Now this Skoda Slavia 1 liter variant comes with a 999cc 3 cylinder E8211 engine. This motor produces 115 PS of power at 5000 to 5500 RPM and 178 newton meters of torque ranging between 1750 to 4500 rpm is engine ke saath aapko ek 6 speed manual gearbox option milta hai which is the MQ206F and you also have a 6 speed torque converter automatic which is the AQ256F is torque converter automatic gearbox ke saath bhi aapko normal or sport modes mil jate hain but this is not a DSG, this is not a dual clutch automatic transmission. The DSG is only available with the 1.5 liter TSI Evo motor. So 115 PS and 178 Newton meters. These are not really bad numbers, they are quite good actually as per segment standards. The thing is that the 1.5 liter TSI Evo is just so punchy and it is so so likable that this motor doesn't feel just as great. But if you compare it to competition, this Slavia 1 liter engine option is also quite potent and it is quite competitive. Now, this car is a 3 cylinder engine. Mil raha hai. So, at a standstill, you will feel some of that 3 cylinder thrum. When the engine is idling, ho rahi hogi, you will be able to feel that mild 3 cylinder pulsation at some of the touch points inside the cabin. But it is not too noticeable and it is not going to make you uncomfortable throughout your drive experience. When you are on the go, when you are on the move, you will not feel any problems in terms of the NVH package. NVH, if we talk about NVH, overall city commuting speeds, pe, the engine is nice and quiet and the car overall feels refined. But if you drive this car in a lower gear at higher revs, तभी आपको इंजन का जो आवाज है कैबिन में काफी नोटिसेबली सुनाई देगा। Let me demonstrate that to you right now. So keep listening to the engine. इतना इंजन नॉइज आपको कैबिन में सुनाई देगा। Compare this with the 1.5 TSI Evo. That motor feels and sounds a lot smoother than this. But this engine note, in my opinion, is not too bad. It is a little granular compared to the 1.5 TSI Evo, but it still sounds sporty, at least in my books. So I have no real complaints in the oral experience from this Skoda Slavia 1 liter variant. Is gadi ke saath aapko ek 6 speed torque converter mil raha hai. You are getting paddle shifters. You are getting a sport mode and you also get Tiptronic functionality. So, you can manually this gear stick ka istamal karke bhi gear changes kar paoge. And doing that is also very easy and the gearbox is reasonably quick as well. It is not as quick as the DSG but it is par for the course and I don't think too many people will find that the extra split second gain from the DSG gearbox is really going to make or break the deal. Standard D mode mein jab aap gaadi chalane wale ho, say for example if you are stuck in bumper to bumper traffic, I have just released the brake pedal. The Slavia is crawling at 7 km per hour. And then when you are just going to feather the accelerator pedal, the upshifts, the gear shifts are going to happen somewhere between 2000 to 2500 rpm. So that is also a relaxed state of tune taki aapko achche se achcha mileage mil sake. For better mileage, this Skoda Slavia comes with engine start stop functionality. So check this out. As soon as I come to a standstill, engine band ho chuki hai, I am still in standard D mode. And as soon as I release the pressure of the brake pedal, engine shuru ho chuki hai 
and I have not released the brake pedal completely so it has not started moving forward. So if you just want to fire up the engine before the signal turns green, you can just release the pressure of the brake pedal. So that is a good idea. If you have a feature more intrusive, lagta hai, you can switch it off. You get a button over here next to the gear stick. So you know it will not switch off, especially in summer season. When you start off from a standstill, if the engine senses some load, आपको वो थ्री सिलेंडर वाइब्रेशन थोड़ा बहुत महसूस होगा इन द इनिशियल गियर एट इनिशियल स्पीड्स बट आफ्टर दैट एवरीथिंग इज आई एंड आउट एंड दिस फील्स नाइस एंड रिफाइंड ये जो गियर बॉक्स है ये जो सिक्स स्पीड यूनिट है इट इज स्मूथ बट यू डू फील दैट लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ हेड नॉट कंपेयर टू द डी एस जी द डी एस जी इज बट स्मूथ और उसमें आपको कोई भी जर्क्स फील नहीं होते हैं वेन यू आर मेकिंग दोज गियर चेंजेस or if you are just pushing the car hard and if you are driving it in sport mode and you are not making those gear changes let me show that to you right now i'm going to switch to sport mode and just look at the head nod that i might experience so in 3 2 1 the engine does rev to 6000 rpm but then when it reaches that 6000 rpm there is that split second of a lull when that gear change happens and because of that you will notice that head nod is it too jerky absolutely not is it good enough 100% yes aapke city commutes ke liye aapko is gear box ke sath koi bhi complaints nahi honge and since many of us are concerned over reliability with the dsg gear boxes if you don't want that If you want more peace of mind, you can buy this six-speed AT variant of the Skoda Slavia. Making a U-turn, slotting it in manual, and now I'm going to use the paddles. Making use of the paddles, it feels slightly slower than driving it in sport mode. But it is still an engaging car, nevertheless. हमने इस गाड़ी का 1.5 लीटर TSI Evo DSG वेरिएंट भी चलाया है. That is a separate video, so do check it out. We have more details to share with you about this car. Very quickly wrapping things up about this particular variant. The steering wheel is nice and responsive. It is light at city speeds. आपको मेहनत नहीं करनी होगी. Also, the suspension setup is very, very comfortable. It has a very slight firm edge, which will result in a very dynamically rich experience from behind the wheel. The car stays nice and flat at high speeds. Zyada waftiness, zyada vertical movement, apko feel nahi hoga. And because of that, you can carry that extra bit of speed around corners as well. Body balance, chassis balance is fantastic. So you can attack corners much faster than you can in other cars. from the competition list of course you can do that much better with the 1.5 liter variant of the slavia because that engine is just brilliant nevertheless this car is also exciting enough and it is very easy to bring this skoda slavia in your control braking performance kafi acha hai and it just stops in a predictable fashion it maintains its line very well and check this out when you want to drive this car fast and when you are going to encounter a series of bends this is a very engaging car to drive and even with this 1 liter 3 cylinder engine you are not really going to feel short changed aapko aisa nahi lagega that you have paid too much and you have received a little less power than what you might desire out on the highway You can easily drive at triple digit speeds. If you ask me, if you want a daily driver and if you want an engaging car to drive, this Slavia makes a lot of sense. Thoda bahut pitch and roll aapko feel hoga because this car is big, it is long, it is tall, it has segment best dimensions and also the ground clearance is on the higher side. 179 mm ka ground clearance aapko mil raha hai. To zahir si baat hai, thoda body roll aapko feel ho sakta hai. But then thanks to the electronics package that is on offer with this car as you can notice you can really push it hard around corners and it still maintains a very safe line 
and it is not going to make you feel nervous and you will be a confident driver behind the wheel of this car so guys that has been my quick take on this Skoda Slavia 1 liter TSI 3 cylinder turbo petrol motor do I like it yes but I like the other engine more if I was in the market to buy a sedan and if budget was not a constraint I would pick that variant but if you want an automatic this is good enough this is comfortable and convenient the driving experience is very very rich and for a sedan this makes a lot of sense there is a lot of space on offer there is a lot of space in the boot as well and thanks to this virtual cockpit this very fancy looking two spoke steering wheel ventilated seats you as a driver you will definitely feel like you have bought a modern car and just check this out for your daily city commutes making u-turns is so effortless and the turning radius is also nice and short so if you have any other queries about this Skoda Slavia do ask me I will try my best to help you out always drive safe always wear your seat belts and let us know if you would spend your hard-earned money and bring this Skoda Slavia home